Alrighty then. So like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted and cut off. <clears throat> Eagles are gonna win. Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl, right? Just my opinion. They're going to eat the Patriots alive because that's what Eagles do. They eat live flesh. They're going to destroy the Patriots. You know, like, win the battle. They'll probably come from behind or something, you know, like, Brady did last last year. But and uh, so once the Eagles win, you know the world's gonna end. And when I say that people get people get offended. They get they get mad. People hate when, when I say the world's gonna end. But technically, it's not going to end. It's just going to end for the evil people who are plotting to destroy 7 billion people on Earth. It's going to completely backfire to the exact opposite. Now, the reason I think that is because there's many verses in the Bible that points towards, number one, the last shall be more than the first. The last people on earth are going to be saved more than the first. The deception of the sun simulator, the moon, our stars, you know, satellite, camera, 70 technology images. Our entire dome is covered. Our real sun, our real stars, and our real moon is covered. The reason they're covering it, and you can just ask, to, I mean, come on, RFB knows. He has the Sun Simulator patent. It's one thing that he's admitting that's true. He just ain't admitting about the stars, but that's fine. <clears throat> the reason they're doing that is because they're, they're playing the Bible's end time prophecy out. I'll, I'll continue to say it because that's what they're doing. The part where the the moon is going to be the only light that we're going to see, which is in the in the in the song "Stand By Me," made back in 1961. There's a reason why he's not going to be afraid. There's a reason why he's not going to cry or shed a tear because he knew that was deception I guess and everybody who's been mocking me all the people who are paid to do so hey you'll find out the hard way I found out the hard way by going against God's grain and I'm trying to pull people out of the fire beforehand but God's going to pull you out because he's allowing Satan to rule this world. Satan ruled this world. This world, this year, is the 13,030th year since existence. How did I come up with the numbers? It doesn't matter if I told you anyway. You wouldn't believe me. Huh? But regardless, at the 13,000th year, that's when Satan began to rule in the churches completely May 21st 1988 so this is the 13,030th year 13 number 13 why is it that they don't have the 13th floor in the high risers who make who builds all these buildings who's in who's in charge of the world the, the elite the, 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 the filth the scum the demonic uh, 
angels, spirits. Satan, he rules this world. He made an agreement with God from the very beginning. He wanted to rule the entire world and lose his soul. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He knows he has a short period of time left. His time is almost up. It's coming real close to being up. He knows that. Uh, the people that are following him, they don't know that. That's why they're building underground bunkers. That's why they're all getting in them now. They think they're going to get away with it. The mountains are going to crumble. And the sea uh, that's also in the... Uh, or the sky is going to crumble and the, and the mountains into the sea. That's also in that song. That's exactly what's going to happen to them. Once they stop flying the simulator around, it's going to be darkness. That's how he's going to get all your guys' attentions. Laugh at me now. Type away. You know I'm going to leave your comments up. Tell me how, you know, how uh, dumb I am and all that and, and whatnot. But to the agents that know, they know that the sun is a simulator. They know they're going to park it. They know that they're going to turn the moon to blood. They know that the stars are going to fall from heaven. They know they're going to do it. But they... They're going to be the ones that are not repenting because they are the fallen angel bloodline. Along with the people who receive the mark of the beast. Um, willingly. You guys are done. You are through. This year is it. It's it. One of the clear signs I said when the Eagles are 6-1 and one and are talking about the Super Bowl. If the Eagles win the Super Bowl, you know, you know that this is the end. Because they've never... The only... The only way the Eagles can possibly win a Super Bowl is if the world ends, right? But it's not going to end. I just want to make that straight to people. The, the world as we know it, with Satan in it, that part's going to end. The world itself is going to change like... I'm sorry, you didn't hear the flick. Like that. It's going to change in a heartbeat. I just made the video, but it, it cut off, so I, I had to make another one. I have to try to remember what I said, because as soon as I was done, it, you know, hey, because that's what they do. They're able to just get in there and just do what do their thing. But uh, the main point of this video today is just it's four o'clock, uh, February. Uh, is it the fourth? Is it Sunday or Monday or, or Saturday? I did whatever. It's Super Bowl Saturday, all right? I'm not into predicting, okay? But I'm going to predict that the Eagles are going to win. Either by coming from behind or a blowout. A blowout would mean that the Eagles devoured the Patriots. You know, the Patriots patriotic the eagle was the predator the patriots well were to pray and it just symbolizes spiritually that this is it the new world order is coming into coming into effect it's already here it's just it's a matter of time the major change is going to be that switch that they flick up down whatever the movie that they're getting ready to play they're going to play that out. They've been playing it out. I don't know what other... There is no other sign to look for besides... Besides the sign of... Darkness. The land is going to be dark. I think everybody knows that. It's even the... Uh, Even the ones that don't believe the Bible, they, they're they going by that because they're going by the Bible's prophecy because they're playing it out. We've been seeing it played out for a long time now. And the reason I say that 7 billion people are going to be saved, now a small remnant was saved on May 21st, 2011. A small remnant. Because 
people, only a few, like maybe 144,000 or so, I don't know, only that amount of, amount of people believe that God would destroy the world, just like when Jonah warned Nineveh that God was going to destroy the world in 40 days. He gave him a time period to let him know when he's going to destroy it. And, but yet he didn't. So once again, we know that Jonah's not a false prophet. I know that Harold Campbell's not a false prophet. Gematria backs it up. I mean, it even backs up Charles Larson as being a man of God. I don't like how the guy was bashing Harold Campen uh, on May 22nd, but that's his own prerogative. He, he has a certain amount of punishment that he has to go through. The 6th and 7th church is the 6th and 7th seal. It's the 6th and 7th trumpet. And the Church of Philadelphia, well, Philadelphia Eagles are playing in the Super Bowl today. And when he's talking to the 6th and 7th church, the Spirit is talking to him. He's not talking to a literal church today. He was back then, but today he's talking to everybody who's in existence right now. And he's telling you, he's telling everybody, all of you. When that sixth seal is blown open and the night shall come and the land will be dark and the moon, the bloody moon, is the only light that we're going to see, which means the stars already fell from heaven, the 7D holographic uh, images. The only light we're going to see is the moon, and it's going to be a bloody moon. Because that's what the Bible says, so they're playing that out. Now, the deception is the rapture. People are going to see that, and they're going to think that they're left behind. And some people might kill themselves. Some people might do some dumb things, but God is telling you, behold, to come quickly. The fifth trumpet was already blown by Harold Camping. The seal was blown off. I understood that five years later. Here I am today, blowing the sixth trumpet. Don't care if you believe me or not. It's not about people believe me. It's about hearing it. I actually hope people don't believe me. Because then when it does happen, well, then you'll believe God. And on top of that... The same thing with Harold Camping. The reason Jonah is not considered a false prophet because the Bible is telling you that he's a prophet. This, the Bible has already been written. The world is not over yet. It hasn't changed yet. He warned us on May 21st, 2011. When all these things come to pass, Ezekiel 33, 33, 3, 3, 3, 3. And when these things happen, and lo, they will happen, then you know that there was a prophet among you. That's when people are going to finally recognize that there was a prophet among them. And they're going to finally recognize also that all the these people that you're threatening to kill and shut up on YouTube, they were right. And that's what's going to make everybody cry out to God. So I am not worried about it. I already warned everybody about it. I could push stop and just stop talking. Nah, I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep talking. <clears throat> but why? Why should I? If I already know that, I already know that seven billion people are going to be saved. If I already know that. Why continue? Why bother keep warning people? What's the point? You guys are already going to be saved anyway. All the people that are mocking me. You're going to be saved. Because you're not listening. You're not hearing. You're not believing. But once you see it, then you will. This is that adulterous and wicked generation that seeks for signs. Uh, well, you're going to get your sign. You don't believe the people that are warning you ahead of time. We're only warning you ahead of time so you can enjoy the rest of your time that you have here the next few months. 
Um, but if you don't want to listen, then you're gonna you're gonna find out the hard way. Same way I did. I found out the hard way. When you go against God's grain, okay, you will find out. You can get away with it for so long until enough's enough already. Now, the last are going to be more than the first. The first resurrection was May 21st, 2011. The 30 years of judgment on the churches. The first 23 years, the wrath of God. Number 23 equals the wrath of God. The last seven years is perfect fulfillment. The number seven equals perfect fulfillment. Seven days in a week, remember. God rested on the seventh day. He rested on that seventh day because he has one more day to go. All this stuff is going to happen in one day. Even though there's going to be seven days of where the entire world is under... Uh, I mean, we're all under judgment now, but the entire world will be tried because we're going to see America being destroyed. We are that. We are the eagle. Uh, the Eagles are in the Super Bowl. It is the year. This is the 13,030th year since creation. No, we haven't been here for millions and billions of years. No, there aren't meteorites anywhere. There's a, there's a protective firmament that is enclosed. We are under it. So when you hear about meteorites, it's a lie. When you hear about all these other planets, it's a lie. Believe what you want, because that's what people do. I've already understood that. I don't expect, I don't want people to believe me, to be honest with you. I want, the ones that are hard-headed, thick-headed, if you want to keep going about your ways, you will find out the hard way. And the hard way is going to be crying out to God, because you have no idea of the time frame. You have no idea of that we're even under judgment. But what is going to get people's attention? The sun that doesn't rise anymore. That's going to get everybody's attention. And meanwhile, here's God. Gad, Satan. Do my work, man. Come on. Gad, flunky. Get all your little flunky demons and go do my work for me. So he's just sitting back letting, letting Satan fulfill his will. Satan knows he has a short period of time left. That short period of time is just about up. Because we were told to rest for a little season. The ones that got the white robes. The ones that believed. The ones that were saved. The 144,000. We. Yeah, that's right. I said it. We. Me. I. And 143 and 999 others. Right? Right. We're the ones that worked for 10 hours and agreed to one shekel. You understand that parable? You guys are the ones that are going to work for one day for the same one shekel and be, and be saved at the end. But I'm not going to be mad at you at all. I'm going to be rejoicing over you guys because God's plan will be perfectly fulfilled. So on that seventh day, guess what God's going to do? He's going to rise up. He's going to destroy, and he's going to recreate the earth. Brand new, just like that. How is that so hard to believe when he created the world in six days? Why did he rest on the seventh day? Because he has one more day to go. 13,030 years to him has already happened. It, this has already been played out. It's already been done. We just have to go through the motions of it as we're alive. So the 6th and 7th church, remember, the 7th church, God has so many problems with those people. The 6th church, he has not one problem with. He's telling you to hold fast to that, to what you have already had. You have a little bit of help left, okay? A little bit of help. Just relax, wait for those 7 days, I believe it is, somewhere around there. Just wait until he does his business on the seventh day. 
to the churches, meaning the spirits, the body of Christ, the people, the individuals, on that, in between that week's period of time, because in Daniel, God makes a covenant many for one week. In the midst of the week, he causes all the prayers to cease. All of you guys that are praying to God who you don't know, you've never known him, you didn't care to hear him, but all of a sudden now you're begging him, please, God, oh my God, please save me. Well, a broken and a contrite heart, he will not despise. Right now, all you guys that have pride in you, well, pride will kill you. So we're a blessed generation. You got to remember that. Why are we a blessed generation if 7 billion people are going to die? That's not very blessed, is it? It's also a loss for God, ain't it? That he's going to let Satan kill 7 billion of his children. Even if they become saved, killing them? Nah, man. Nah. God can't. He's not going to be. He, I mean, he can stomach whatever he, he, he created our stomachs. He can stomach anything, but... You always got to try to think and put yourself in God's shoes if you can for a second. You have seven and a half billion people. 500 million of them are evil. Seven billion of them are either they're good or like he is talking to the, I think it's either the third or the fourth church. Those who don't have this doctrine and don't know the depths of Satan, he has no other burden to put against you. He's talking to you guys. The ones that are not listening to us guys, the sixth church, the one that God has absolutely no problem with because we didn't deny his name at all. And we're going to continue to preach his word until we're, until those two witnesses are shut up and the truth is stomped to the ground and they will succeed and prosper. And after three and a half days, well, but it's not in the midst of the week, okay? It's not in the middle of the week. It's in the midst of the week. At the height of destruction. On that seventh day. That's when he's going to stop it. So again. After those three and a half days of darkness. The three days of darkness. They have that half a day left. I know I said this in other videos. But I never know who subscribes for the first time. Three days of darkness. They're going to be in their bunkers. And they're going to be rubbing their hands together. And then they're going to wait till that half a day. And then they're going to be like, Are we good, guys? We're good, right? All right. Let's start partying. And then that fulfills Revelations, where chapter somewhat or another, it's in the scriptures, right? Just freaking believe me. That's when they're going to exchange gifts to one another and make merry over those two witnesses because they tormented them day and night aren't we a torment to you guys that can't stand us yeah i think we are aren't we so you're going to exchange gifts to one another however when the real destruction happens and those caves crumble in on your dumb asses who believe that you're going to actually defeat god well you guys are the ones that are going to be begging for death. You're going to be begging for death. You're going to want to kill yourselves. And and most of you will. Because you know that that wasn't written in a script. We didn't write that in a script. Where did that come from? Well, just know you were warned. And you're going to get your way. You want to keep the population under 500 million? Underground? Yeah, you're going to keep that population under. Under what? Underground. Because you're going to go into your bunkers, aren't you? And you're going to wait. And you're going to think that after three and a half days, because it says in the Bible, after three and a half days, the breath of life is put back into the spirit. And they stand upon their feet and great fear, fear falls upon man. And 7,000 exactly are, are slain. Well... He is giving everybody a chance to see this deception. Free will. You have you have you have the right to do whatever you want. You can believe or not. But that deception's gonna get you guys. I'm trying to help you as 
Come on. Listen, look. Come on, man. Look what's going on here. You know the sun's a simulator. You know they're blocking our real sun. You know that moon. It's, uh, God's tired of it. Uh, uh, God is sick of those new moons. Remember? Remember that? I... Isaiah? Is that Isaiah? 114? Didn't I just do a video about that? I believe it's Isaiah one, chapter 114. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about everything. But I'm still going to speak my mind anyway, even if I am wrong. Even if I am a false prophet. Whatever. Harold Camping is a false prophet too. But you know what? He did warn people about judgment coming on the churches. The only people that can see that are the ones that aren't going to church and know not to go there. The ones that say, Oh Lord, haven't we cast out demons in your name and prophesied? And he's going to say, Depart from me, losers, because I never knew you. Well, he's talking to the leaders of the churches, the high profile people that have been casting out demons in his name. You're supposed to get out of the church. You're leading your flock astray. So it's not the flock's fault for being led astray. They're just going to church thinking that's what you're supposed to do because that's what you were supposed to do. But when the church age started, Jerusalem, well, they no longer represented the kingdom of God, but they still don't believe it today. So how can you possibly expect churches to believe it? God will send a strong delusion in the latter days. Aren't they delusional? Or am I? Type away. Oh, well, you're delusional. You need to get locked up into a mental institution. I've heard it all. All right, remember, my skin is this thick. Okay? You cannot hurt my feelings. It's impossible to. I've been through it already. I've already been mocked and scoffed and laughed at on May 21st, 2011, when nothing happened literally. But spiritually, that was the first resurrection. Because the book of Revelations is written for our time today. The last 30 years on earth is written for us. First resurrection already happened. The second one is getting ready to happen. The second death has no power over me. Not even the first death. Because I'm not going to die once. Not one time. That's why this is a blessed generation. Only if you people could have that comfort in your heart and know... We're going to step straight through it. In a twinkling of an eye, and a snap of a finger, all things are new. Everything has changed. On that seventh day that God plans on getting back up and doing his work. Because he's been chilling out for 13,000 years. 13,000, 30, 29 years and 364 days. On that 365th day, that's when he's going to get up and do his work. One more time. Clean slate. Broom sweep. Just broom sweep. Reserve for fire. You guys are done. All the elite, the Illuminati, the Hollywood. All you sports players who won't repent. You guys who are already in on it. The Super Bowl's already been played, even though uh, it's going to be played today. But it's already been, it's already been played. Uh, the Eagles are going to win. And if they don't win, then I guess the Patriots are going to win, right? I mean, duh. But it's just fitting, spiritually, and the way they've been playing the the Bible out, the way they've been lying to everybody, the eagle will come down and devour the Patriot. And that is the final sign of the end. For sports and football, that is. Because that's the last season. They already said this is the last Super Bowl. Watch the subliminal messages that they're going to be playing throughout, the, even even as they're talking. Tom Brady's going to throw for 313 yards, exactly, with their predictions. Everybody's everybody's taking the Patriots. Everybody's taking the Patriots. Philadelphia has always been known as the underdog city, Rocky, you know, Balboa. Uh, so they're the underdogs again. It's fitting that they'll come from behind and win. Old, uh, old Nicky Foles. Uh, because I, I don't think it'll be a blowout. If it's a blowout, they'll pull away at, at, at the end, at the from the third quarter to the fourth. The Eagles will. But it'll be 
either close all the way up until then or the Eagles are going to be down. And it's good, it, pretty bad. They'll be down pretty bad. Uh, because a blowout would be a... They want they want to keep... A blowout is like, what's the point of watching? You know they're going to win. So it's not going to be a blowout, at least not until the very end. So I guess I'll see in about four more hours from now, five hours from now, what actually happens with this Super Bowl. Uh, but remember, seven billion, perfect, perfect fulfillment. God waited this long to change this world because that's how many people he wants. He wants seven billion people in his family. Um... To reign forever. For an eternity. No more Satan. No more trolls. You don't have to troll any more trolls. Remember, remember when I see you. Okay? Because I will see you guys. Because you're just you're a let astray. You're, you're deceived. I will see you guys. And when I see you, guess what I'm going to do to you? Slap you in your face. And then I'm like, welcome. Welcome, my brother and sister. Welcome. I tried to tell you, you had you found out the hard way, right? I told you you're gonna find out the hard way, right? You found out the hard way because you had to cry out to God for mercy because you're scared to death, scared to death. There's no place in heaven for the fearful and unbelieving, and the liars, the liars, the fear, the fear mongers, and the sorcerers, and the murderers. It's no place for you guys. But you will repent, not at my words. But when you see that the sun just isn't rising for those few days, you're, that's the sign, man. That's the sixth trumpet. That's the sixth seal. Behold, he comes quickly right after that. So don't do anything stupid. Don't think that you have to live in this new world order. Don't agree to a bunker. Don't be like uh, anybody else on YouTube that has mis misled people because they were promised life, but they'll receive death. So, if you don't want to die, you might want to repent now and turn to God. But you won't. You won't. Nobody's going to turn to Him. There, there's nothing to fear right now, right? Who? You ain't fearing me. There's no reason to fear me. I'm just some dude that's going to get ready to. I'm going to get ready to get shut up in uh, another 33 seconds or so. So we'll just leave it at that. 33 minutes, once again. 33, 